On day two, Erica begins to point out the different text features located in the text and discusses how these help a reader understand the story. Since the text is located in a book, Erica is sure to show the children the pages closely so that they are able to view each page carefully. Do you see some bold lettered words in here? Some dark words. Yes, yes two. Spruce, right? A type of tree. And um, habitats. Yeah, that's because you're a little bit far. That's okay. And look at this. Up oh, here is some small writing. Remember yesterday, did I say this is important? Yeah. yeah. Or should I just say, ah, it's a different color. I don't really need to know that. Are you cheating and looking at my pictures? Wow. Gotta be careful with this lady over here, don't we? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's look at some other things. Um, oh, glossary tells us what words mean. Do you find this in a fiction book? No. 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 Do you look at the back of a fiction and say, now, what does supercalifragilistic mean again? Not in a fiction book, right? No, because it's just made up. It's like a story. Things that we need to pay close attention to. Things that need to open our mind and say, oh my gosh, that is so important. I better look at that. Okay, this is called text features. Text means what you're reading, the book, the words, inside what you are reading. Features is like the things you're going to see. So the things you're going to see in the book. That's what text feeds. It's just a big, long, fancy sounding thing for the things that you're going to see and read in the book. All right. So I went through this book and I looked for different things that, might, that are in this book. I'm not going to go over both of these pages because it would take a really long time. So I'm just going to go over the ones that I found in the book. All right. Bold type. Does bold mean dark or light? Dark. dark. And you can see it. See this dark word right here? Mm -hmm. All right. That means, whoa, pay attention to me. Darren, do you see me? Monty, do you see me? Okay. That's what it means when you see a dark word. Here I am. I'm important. Remember, remember, remember. Okay. What it is, is it's to draw attention to specific words in the text, meaning there it is. Big as day. Look at me. Okay. Another thing is, what does this look like? What is this? Is this letters? No. Is this a word? No. What is it? Picture. picture. I really like pictures. Especially when I'm reading nonfiction, I'm thinking, what? I don't understand this. And then I see the picture and I'm like, oh, that's what they're talking about, right? So pictures are to help us visualize parts of the text. So when we think, all right, I'm talking about tigers. Does it look like a lion? Or maybe it looks like a groundhog. If you've never seen a tiger before. But if you look at this, here's a picture. Do you understand what it looks like now? Yeah. yeah, clear as day, right? Because pictures help us understand better. And also the glossary. There's a glossary in this book. Okay, the glossary tells us what words mean. You know all those dark words that we saw in here? Well, here's what they mean. Here's their definitions. So if you get to a word and you're thinking spruce, hmm, I've heard it before. What does it mean? Okay, glossary, glossary, spruce, spruce. Oh, it's a kind of tree. And then you can just keep on reading. The glossary is here to help you, okay? It's almost like a small dictionary. Captions, okay, can you guys read that word, captions? Captions, captions. good job. Captions are the small, <gasps> I am looking at my pictures again. Maybe. Wow, right here's a better one. <laughs> captions. Okay, the little letters, the little words, the little blurbs at the bottom. These are called captions. All righty, fancy word for hmm, little words, a little bit of information at the bottom. What's that? No, not this. This is just stuff. Captions is when you're reading about the information. Okay, captions. They're usually under the pictures or near the pictures so you can see it. All right, this is found a lot in nonfiction. Captions. It's really important to read the captions, okay? Really important information in those little tiny boxes. Erica then discusses a few pre-selected words that she feels that children must know before reading the text. Before we read the book tomorrow, there's some important words that I think we should know before we read, okay? For instance, extinct. If I say, oh my gosh, 
there were dinosaurs as big as this room a long time ago. They were so big, but now they're extinct. What does that mean? They're gone, they're gone right?